Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cities Skylines with your mayor, Curls Paladin. And here we are overlooking the wonderful city of Knight's Home as the sun is rising, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is rising, okay. Um, because I couldn't remember which way was east, and yes, this way is east. So, uh, and we are near that 300,000 mark. We started at 296.039, already came in with over almost 300 people have just moved in in the last, uh, less than a minute here. So, um, hoping to hit that 300,000 mark this episode. I think we will do that, and that will be a milestone for us. This is a creative mode city at this point. I think when I hit the 100,000 mark, uh, I just changed to unlimited funds. And uh, I forgot what else I did. But this is effectively a creative mode city at this point. But getting to up to the 100,000 mark, uh, of course, it was mostly a vanilla game. But, you know, you just can't not have Traffic Manager President Edition. It's just, I don't know how you can play this game without it. It's just a, an essential mod. So we got somebody here that uh, is complaining about the fact that I forgot to get them water. Uh, you know, being a mayor, people just complain about the simplest little things all the time. All right, there. Now you can flush your toilets, okay? The Best Buy um, can flush its toilets and what have you. So. Okay. Uh, that's an asset that I installed, by the way. It is not part of the vanilla game. Just in case you're trying to think that uh, Colossal Order tried to commercialize or something. No, that is an asset that I installed. I'm really happy with this Bay Bridge. Uh, the, on this side, how I did it. I'm not quite as happy on this side, uh, but it would have required taking a giant chunk out of either Paladin Park or out of Steel Canyon, so I did this. The Golden Gate uh, is... I, I'm happy with it. I like it. Um, but I couldn't get any toll booths on it. So it's the Free Bridge. So you can take the Golden Gate for free, or you can use the Bay Bridge, which moves a little bit faster, uh, and pay a toll for it. So, as you can see, there's the toll booths right there. So, um, it doesn't, oh, 60, okay. And this side, 57. So it's kind of averaging itself out. So for this particular episode, what would I like to do? Well, last episode... We uh, disconnected Lewis Forest, or Louis Forest, I don't know how it would be pronounced, but we connected it from the freight network, this terminal. And, oh my goodness, look what happened. Freight traffic has pretty much just disappeared. I still got to find out where that track was supposed to go. Um, but it's just, I had, remember... I had trains just lined up all the way to the edge of the map, and I still haven't found a mod that will do what I want it to do, which is don't spawn freight trains less than a certain percentage, um, because that was also part of the problem, is this line was just clogged with trains at 7%. Just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so if, you know, only when they're at, say, 50% or so, that would have helped a great deal. So, yeah, like that one's 33, so. And I did just notice, and I want to take care of it. And I don't know where the, the steel drum music came from. That's, I think, part of a um, city, uh, Sim City uh, Societies, I think. I do have that music pack installed here, so. Um, anyhow, but yeah, the, that freight traffic, I mean, it's moving 
And by gum, look, I mean, there's fewer places complaining about not having supplies over here now. That has helped immensely. I still have distribution problems elsewhere in the city. In fact, I did add a freight terminal. Where did I add that freight terminal? Was it this one right here? I think it was, yeah, right here, because it's not named yet. Um, so what is this area? That's Erie Plaza. This is Helen Point. Um, you know, I think a good Independence Port name would be good here. It's been a long time since I've uh, named a uh, district. So Independence Port, what would be a good one? Uh, there's, I'm trying to think of the ones that I've got. Uh, well, that's, uh, you know, while I'm trying to think of it, let's just go ahead and f fill in an industrial type area. In fact, I could probably make this an industrial area. I really would like a uh, industry that is kind of um, just like heavy industry, you know, like uh, machinery as an option. Okay, so we'll use the railroad track as a divider. If I can do this, zoom in. There we go, so follow that. Nope, I cannot do it for some reason. All right, let's see. There we go, okay. And I still can't do it because I'm, whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna make it that clean. There we go. All right, so Helen Point to the bottom of the screen, our new one, whatever it is up here, um, Vermont Hills. Clean that up right there. That's good. Okay. Um, Industry Pier. Makes, you know, the name is exactly what it is, even though there's no pier over there, but um, that is a zone in, or that is a neighborhood in Independence Park. So I just realized I did zone that as an, uh, city area, but oh, well, by gum, look at that. There's all that oil right there. If I just cheated and moved the oil over, do I have? Yeah, I do have another oil one, right? Royal Refinery, yeah. Um, but I could cheat by just painting oil over here. And then they just, just you know, we'll, we'll say it as if, though, well, they found more oil over here. So, yeah. And they were off. It isn't so much over here as it was where it is now type thing. So we'll take it off of there. Okay. Don't need a lot of space for this. So go ahead and uh, paint an industry area. So this is going to be an industry area as well as a city zone, or a district, I should say. Does not have to be as pretty. That's good enough. All right. Even though I have, I just noticed I have very, very little demand for anything in the city at the moment. Look at that. I have just a little bit of demand for industry. Ah, residential. So what we're going to do is we'll build out there, there, and there. We'll leave the generic industry there. Get rid of that. thinking of uh, long ago when I did industrial areas, 
I used to make the roads like just a one lane or one way and then have all the traffic snake through it and it seemed to be really effective and then it just would fall apart once the industry area started actually getting um, larger but basically the idea was all the trucks are, would just go through it in one direction in one big loop or sometimes even like a uh, like a square wave type thing uh, and it worked for smaller industrial industrial areas but when you got larger ones it was just not as good so all right so anyhow we have this industry pair let's go ahead pier not pair uh oil industry main building we're gonna plunk you oh wow you're huge like wow can you actually oh look at that wait a minute where is right there okay i'd like to have it here kind of in the middle of everything so boom okay okay so you are there good to see uh really quick when i saw that workers thing four percent okay yeah we're we're doing okay there uh yep okay okay so uh obviously we want to extract oil so uh before i even do that let's put down some oil storage so small crude oil tank firm and these are oh i need to get power out here don't i Um, okay, what we'll do is we'll just run it straight across like this. There. Okay. Oh, and then it just it connected on its own. Anyway. Okay. Ah, there we go. So, small oil storage, and these are a lot larger than I thought they were. Uh, wow. Wow. All right, let's plan this out. I'd like to have the storage be between the production of or the collection, so like the oil derricks, and the actual consumer. So like right here, maybe, and I think I just plunked over. Yeah, I did. I just plunked over generic industry. Not a big deal, though. So I'll have that one, and then that will be balanced. We'll see how balanced works here. Um, and I'll put one medium one in. And we'll put that... I probably should have put the medium on the other side and the large one over here. Or the other way around. I should have probably put the smaller one over here and the medium one over here. But anyhow. Alright, so we've got storage so that when we start producing oil, it will immediately have somewhere to go. So now we want to start uh, extracting the oil. So that's fine. We've got the small oil pumps, which are pretty darn small. Look at that. Wow, they're tiny. Look at that. They're like just a little tiny thing. Little tiny. <laughs> tiny tiny and then I have a large oil pump and I have drilling rigs a large oil drilling rig an offshore which I might actually be able to use petrochemical and now we're getting into the actual processing yeah so let's go ahead we'll do a large oil and they're really not as large as I thought they would be I mean they're really not as large actually you know what? I just messed up Thank goodness for the fact that we're... In, I want these to be over here. Uh, there we go. So let's put them, like, over here. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we got some oil production going on there. Or oil extraction. Over here, we'll put down that and that. We'll put a couple smaller ones in. 
can actually sneak one in right next to the main building, and what the heck, why not? We'll put in a couple there. Okay, so let's go ahead and let those get going. Um, let's put in some bleak housing. I think there's like housing. Yep, oil industry workers, barracks. So, uh, yeah. Not the best stuff in the world, but boom, okay. Give them somewhere to live nearby. And what the heck? Um, let's do this. Right next to the barracks, we'll put down some light commercial so that we can have some bars and whatever have you. Oh, there's some stuff there too. Okay. Yep, you can try and sleep all night long as trucks just keep going by. Yep. It's difficult to get slums in this game. It really is. Um, I like how he's working. He's just standing in the parking lot, but somehow he's working. Okay. Not having a hard time getting people into these places. Look at that. I already got 45 people in there. Okay. I think I did this a little bit backwards, so I'm going to have my storage here, but I want in these larger areas, I want the uh, processing of the oil. So there's all the oil that's going to end up coming in. So you can see right now, I think they're going to head to you, right? Where are you going? Exporting. You're all exporting it. There's like right here that is looking for oil, and you're going to just export it. And then you probably brought it in from the outside. Yep. Oh, my goodness. So we're buying high and selling low. Okay. Economics, negative one down. I mean, we just produced a whole bunch of oil, and we went and sold it, and then we just bought oil from somewhere else to put into this. Okay. And then this is going to fill up, because, unfortunately, um, all this new stuff came in. So, yeah, all these trucks are going to try to fill this thing now, and this one as well, I'm betting. Oh, they need power out here to the to these. So we'll put in just some power lines across. There we go. Okay. Well, Industry Pier will do whatever it will. We shall see how well it works out. Um, I hope I didn't use that name already. I don't think I did. Okay, well, let's look around elsewhere. So... I have some residential demand coming back, a little bit of commercial demand coming back. Um, where could I put some residential down? Let's take a look at the overall city. So, oh, and I did do a little bit of stuff uh, between episodes. Um, so we sent some very uh, brave workers out to the hive to install some sewage and. Uh, Hamadon will get a little bit upset because we're dumping our, our uh, waste water over there. But, uh, oh well, Hamadon can deal with that. Um, devouring Earth, you know, you're all about eco eco bleh, ecology, so do what you will with that waste product. So, Okay. Um, so a place to start doing a little bit more expansion for residential. What would be a good... Sp oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. 300, we hit the 300,000 mark and I wasn't even paying attention. So yay, we did the 300. I have no idea if I'll ever get it to 400,000. We shall see if that ever happens or not. But uh, that's that's cool. We hit the 300,000 mark. Um, one day I may actually get a city back up to 500. We don't know if this will happen for this one, but okay. Uh, you can't grow unless you start building out, so where else am I going to build out? Which is what I was looking for. Um, I kind of feel like this area does need to fill in over here. 
I do like leaving this big green area alongside this um, I-46, is that? I-73. Um, but I think filling this in might work. And maybe up here some a smidge of high density residential and then let that continue tempest key continue to be low density and then over here because you're so close to industry pier this would be uh, probably some uh, tightly packed low density residential so let's go ahead and try that so we're gonna create I'm gonna try and create some slums not gonna work but so we'll take a road out that's a very just normal road. We'll go ahead and allow it to connect to the industry. There we go. So, um, like I said, tightly packed residential. And I want to try and use this two-lane plain street. wrong way so they're gonna be near water which isn't bad and when I say tightly packed here's what I'm talking about we're gonna do it um, tightly packed so I'm not gonna do four but I'll do six And that didn't work out as well as I had it helped. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay, there. Took care of that. Okay, I want... Wait a minute. I want... Okay, I do want to actually use the guideline for once. I don't know what's going on there. Oh my god, just... Gosh, there are just so many darn guidelines, it's really getting a little bit annoying when... Okay, there we go. That might do it. Nope. Uh, you know what? I'm probably just going to have to say I'm going to have to live with it. Yep, for some reason it doesn't want to do a true 180. there okay up to there and I think that's good enough going through we'll put in a larger road there we go and of course I did offset stuff yeah no big deal I guess all right um, they are gonna need a school Even though it is supposed to be like a slum area. And we have the Hadron Collider. Definitely need a police station. And I definitely need a fire station. And medical. We'll just make it. Yeah, we'll put it up here. Okay. And then we gotta get power out here somehow, which we can sneak down from here. There we go, okay. Let's make certain they are covered with water, okay. Or covered for water. Oh, I didn't want that, nor that, okay. All right, it's not a lot of housing, but it's something to, to go with. Um, we can give them, you know what I will do is I will actually take out this. There we go. And we'll make this low density commercial all the way through here. Um, I don't want it up here quite yet. Okay. And then, 
Let's take a look. Buses. I don't have any buses and I don't have any metro out here at all. In fact, would it be worth getting another metro line? I don't have any I can extend, do I? Nope. Nope, I don't have any metro lines I can extend. I took that one to go over there. Nope, no metro lines. Okay, well, they'll only have buses. This is strictly freight at the moment, but at one point I may have passenger on it as well. Um, there are bus stops up here though, right? There's bus stops up there. So what I should do is at least have something come through Industry Pier. So where can I do this? Wow, I really have a lot of buses in the Airy Plaza. Like, I didn't realize how much I covered that. Uh, darn it. How am I going to do this? Because I really, I just covered, I've covered this road. Uh, okay, I think what I can do is, let's go back to buses. Bus stops. Alright, we definitely want something by the workers' ballot. barracks. Boom. We're going to come through here. We're going to stop. Um, I like to have them before intersections. And then I say that, and then I'm going to put that one right after the intersection. Just before. Uh, we'll go to there. We'll come around here. And then down to here. Okay, so that gets one direction and then we'll just do the opposite uh, we'll put one there come around the corner because there's already a bus stop there and complete okay what seriously that is like just pointless so I'm gonna drag and force a stop right there okay Oh, I think I know what it was. I know what it was. If I move this stop to here, then it would go straight through. Okay. Because it's in the outer lane, and it, yeah. But buses can ignore lane arrows. Very important tip, by the way, if you are just starting to play the game, um, and you're using Traffic Manager President Edition, which I do suggest, but if you're using TMPE, I've mentioned this before, but I will let you know, uh, under policies, always a good idea. To have that checked because your buses will love you for doing that so and it is a per save uh, setting so unfortunately you can't just set it once and then all your future saves that you create go with that look at that we got a McDonald's yay I got and pancakes not just pancakes but pancakes with a big old evergreen freight truck coming up to it Mmm, boy, we're unloading that maple syrup. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, pancakes sound so good right now. I have residential demand, but nobody wants to come down here. How, f how odd. It's almost like this is an undesirable area to live. Who would have thought? They didn't like that. They're like, hey man, you just put a road in my backyard. Yeah, well, you live in the slums. Sort of slums. I'm sure I could, if I really tried, make slums in this game. 
but it's depressing. Okay. Yep, not the dirt road. There we go. All right, well, we'll see how well that fills in. There we go, we got a couple of houses coming in. The Oriental Residence, Hickory Residence. Speaking of residences, I believe it was demolished, unfortunately, long ago. I believe that was when it was the first lot developed in the game. And I marked it as historical, and then the game allowed me to bulldoze it without confirming. Um, but I believe that was the first lot developed in the game. Ooh, we've got a lot of people. stuck in this uh, road here. Going to your choice hotel. There we go. Come on. One or two cars can make that, right? There. There goes one, two, right in front of the McDonald's truck. I could watch this. This is what was, what is weird about me, is I could watch this for like 20 minutes, just watching the traffic pattern going through there. Um, and I apologize, I have a cat in my face at the moment, so so I think that might be a, an indicator that it might be a good idea to say this is a good spot to go ahead and end the episode. So folks, I hope you had a great time watching. If you enjoy what you see, hit that like button, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see any of my other content that comes out. And folks, if you... Uh, also want to leave some comments uh, just go ahead and do so um, I really do appreciate it and folks I will see all of you in the next episode of Cities Skylines Knights Helm take care and bye